Yeah. Hair flip. Yeah, I'm a badass bitch. I'm a lashy. Hair flip. Yeah. Oh my God. So you guys should be happy. Oh my goodness. Hair flip. Hair flip. Hair flip. Hair flip. Hair flip. Hair flip. Hair Hello everyone and welcome back to your boy the Sean Davey Way Show. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Tap that bell if you would like to be notified of all of our future content. Today I bring you another surviving on Diddy. I've spoke on Diddy and YK Osiris before but we have new updates to further reveal information that we've spoke on. As of recently YK Osiris's child's mother Nastasia Thomas aka Stasia who was on Love & Hip Hop, decided to come forward and let us know that she may have left YK Osiris because she caught him with a man. Who would that man be? No one other than Diddy. Let's get right into it. Let's start by getting into YK Osiris and Nastasia's relationship. The Worth It rapper shares on Instagram story a video of a little bundle of joy wearing a onesie less than a week after it's revealed that he's expecting a child with a former reality TV star. Shout out to A Showbiz. YK Osiris has apparently become a father again. The 23 year old rapper has seemingly welcomed a child with former Love & Hip Hop Hollywood cast member Nastasia Thomas, AKA Stasia. It's YK himself, whose real name is Osiris Jekyll Williams, who dropped a hint at his baby's arrival. On Sunday, July 10th, 2022, he took to his Instagram store to show his adoration to the little bundle of joy. The Valentine Rhymer posted a video of a baby boy wearing a blue onesie, lying on a white blanket with blue letters. He didn't reveal the baby's name or tag the baby mama, but he was heard saying, hey, to the little boy toward the end of the clip. He captioned the adorable footage with a smile and a heart emoji. Side note, at this time, it was not truly confirmed if the new child that YK Osiris had was with Stasia, but it took the Shade Room, shout out to the Shade Room, to confirm that YK Osiris had a child with Stasia. Now, the reason I believe that they were keeping this under wraps is because Stasia is significantly older than YK Osiris. I will say this, if this was a man at Stasia's age and a woman at YK Osiris's age, I feel that people would side-eyed and say that it's cradle robbing. But since she's a woman, I guess again with the whole selective outrage, but since she's a woman, I guess it's okay. But it was a secret. No one knew exactly who she was pregnant by and nobody was necessarily paying attention because she's no longer on Love & Hip Hop. So it's not like a storyline that was being outed on the show or anything like that. And YK never stated it either, who the kid's mother was. He just kind of, here's my baby, you know, and whatnot. And people were kind of just like, okay, well, <laughs> are you in a relationship or did you just randomly get someone pregnant or like what happened? But I believe, again, that it was being held on the wraps because Stasia really didn't want that energy out there because she knows that people will side-eye her for being with someone so young. Article from The Shade Room. Source confirms YK Osiris is expecting a child with former love and hip-hop Hollywood cast member Stasia. You just gotta be worth it. The internet is buzzing after rumors circulate that YK Osiris is expecting a baby with his former bae, Nastasia Thomas aka Stasia from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. The former cast member dropped a photo showing her belly off at nine months, capturing everyone's attention. Stasia's Instagram immediately began filling up with comments showing her well wishes. However, some did question who the pappy is. With so many people talking online, we had to get to the T. A source close to the situation confirmed that Stasia is carrying YK's child. If you recall, the Shade Room teams reported that the pair were booed up in October 2020. The roommates had a mixture of opinions regarding YK's new upcoming addition to his family. One brought up the age differences, writing, I thought she was like 40 years old. According to Famous Birthdays, the Los Angeles native was born September 5th, 1983 and is 38 years old. YK was born September 7th, 1998 and is 23 years old. 
Another comment popped up a lot as reminding folks of Stasia's previous relationship with Marcus Black. Brooke finna have a field day, one wrote. Side note, if you notice, Stasia did not show anything of her pregnancy until she was nine months pregnant. It's not giving I'm a happy mom, I'm excited to have this baby. Because again, most women that are pregnant like to show that they are, especially when you are on social media and you post consistently. She just kind of just went dark. We just didn't hear from her at all. And then all of a sudden, boom, she pops on to Instagram, nine months pregnant like about to drop the baby at any moment. It's not giving, I'm happy about this. I don't feel that she's ashamed of the baby or the pregnancy itself. I think that she was more so ashamed of who she was pregnant by. But let's keep going. To further break down why Nastasia wanted to keep this a secret is because of this right here. Shea Room Teens posted in October 2020, YK and Stasia being booed up. Now this was in October. YK's birthday is September 7th. So in October of 2020, YK would have been a fresh 21 year old. Meaning that if they were talking prior, that he was under the age of 20. So who knows exactly when they started dating? Was he 19 years old or was he 20 years old? Because again, the first time them being sighted out together as a couple was in October of 2020, which would have made YK 21 years old. She is already in her 30s at this time. So again, it makes people side eye her. Like, why are you hanging out and sleeping with basically teenage boys? Now, again, 18's grown, 19's grown, 20's grown. But again, it's still suspect because when men do it, it is frowned upon. But when women do it, they're looked at as Krugers and whatnot. It's definitely a double standard. Kay and Stasia were still dealing with each other from 2020 till 2022 is when Nastasia decided to part ways from YK. Let's get into the reason she decided to break up with him. YK Osiris baby mama insinuates she caught him with a man. While she didn't explicitly say what happened or give any details, she shared a tweet from a quote page that insinuates people's conclusion. IK Osiris baby mama just posted a suggestive Instagram story that insinuates she caught him with another man. Moreover, Stasia Thomas did not explicitly write this out or make a statement herself. So it's not set in stone. Rather, she reposted a tweet from a quote page on her Instagram story. While the rapper's most recently public contribution was an IG page calling out his fake Richard Milley watch. This lit fans up, even though many immediately criticized why this was an insult or clown Osiris, others weren't as quick to draw conclusions. Stop asking me what happened with my baby daddy, the repost tweet read. I caught him with a man, okay? The story post isn't available anymore, but it quickly spread around social media as fans reacted. Well, she didn't personally write it. She shared it from a quotes page. One user pointed out on the Neighborhood Talks IG page. Could be a joking insinuation, don't ask me about my BD. So I'll wait until she comes out and says it herself. Of course, it's not the first time people tried to twist the rapper's sexuality for laughs. Even if it's not a twist, what does it truly matter? Garless, the Florida artist is usually one to laugh off controversies and treat his viral antics with lighthearted tone. However, he made some concerning statements on IG last year that left some fearing for his happiness and mental state. His quote, if I K-I-L-L-E-D'd myself right now, if I go right now, how would y'all feel? He stated, nobody ain't gonna give a F. I'ma tell you what people gonna say if I die right now. If I K-I-L-L-E-D'd myself right now, they gonna say, good. He don't have to pay no more debts no more. Afterwards, many took to the comments to share encouraging and supportive messages, including Big Sean. We will get into YK's live last year, but before we do, let's pick up the pieces. Last year, Diddy himself paid all expenses for YK Osiris to join him in Jamaica. There is photo evidence and we will get into that as well. But before we do, let's get into YK Osiris denying the claims that he is Diddy's boy toy, that Diddy flew him out 
for sexual favors, among other things. Let's dive into that. K. Osiris shuts down Diddy Boy Toy rumors. I ain't worried about it. YK Osiris has heard plenty of rumors about himself over the years, but none as egregious as the one involving him and a certain bad boy by the name of Diddy. During a recent visit on The Breakfast Club, the Florida native was asked about the craziest rumor he had ever heard about himself. What's the rumor? They say, uh, nah, I ain't gonna say that, Osiris answered, stopping himself before his train of thought could continue. So during this interview on The Breakfast Club, Osiris was about to state that the craziest rumor that he had heard was about him and Diddy, but he cut himself off because he didn't want to admit the rumor himself because the rumor definitely has truth to it. If you know something for a fact is not true, of course you're going to speak on it because it simply just isn't true. If it's a lie, you have nothing to worry about. But if there's some truth to it, then you may not want to discuss it because it could give more energy to the story that you do not want discussed. So he literally cuts himself off but the Breakfast Club interviewers, DJ Envy, he had already knew what the rumor was and he was already geared up to question YK about it. So let's get into it. DJ Envy then asked if he was going to mention the rumor about him and Diddy, at which point YK Osiris got up out of his chair laughing and paced back and forth in the studio. Charlemagne the God then asked the pair what rumor they were referring to. So DJ Envy basically finished what YK Osiris was about to say. That's why he jumped out of his chair because he already knew what DJ Envy was going to ask. It was everywhere. Everyone was discussing why YK was in Jamaica with Diddy. It's just like, what is going on here? Clearly you're allegedly supposed to be a hetero male. Why are you meeting up with Diddy? Why is he paying for you to go on trips and whatnot and there is allegedly no women involved you two were hanging out beach side and whatnot people caught glimpses of you and yk himself also took a picture of just he and diddy because diddy was in the ocean and yk was taking the photo and then the photo that yk sent to diddy diddy posted on his ig and yk reshared the photo that he took and if you notice, it is just Diddy. There is no women around or anything like that. So at that point on the beach, it was just YK and Diddy. So again, this definitely has truth to it. That is why YK did not want to talk about it. Now, Charla Gay did not know what they were referring to. So then he questioned them about it as he Googled it to see what they were talking about. They said that he is Diddy's boy toy. Envy said to Charlemagne, who proceeded to do a quick Google search about the story. I was in Jamaica with him, Osiris explained, while Charlemagne looked it up. Oh, I see it now, Charlemagne said after finding a story on the alleged relationship. He then read out the headline, YK Osiris in Jamaica with his alleged boo, Diddy, before asking the Def Jam singer, why you did this to Diddy, man? That's messed up, man. I don't know what happened with that, Osiris said. It be crazy little talking stuff. I ain't worried about it. A lot of people don't care about it. I was laughing. Side note, notice how YK Osiris admits that he was in Jamaica with Diddy, because he can't hide it. With these photos and whatnot, and the people that spotted just those two together in the water together, among other things, you can't hide it. You were literally there with another man. But let's keep going. IK Osiris then explains the reason he was in Jamaica was because he was on vacation with a woman. And although Diddy was also on the island, they weren't together. Says, I was on vacation with a woman, which here's a photograph of the alleged woman that he was supposed to be there with. But he says he wasn't with Diddy. That is a lie. You were taking photographs of him per his request and your request. You were happy to be there with Diddy. And Diddy did not have you there as an artist or as a friend. He had you there as a sexual interest. Diddy was interested in YK Osiris. I mean, he's a very handsome young man and whatnot. And this is what Diddy does. Look at Carisha, beautiful young woman. Boom. You were there with YK Osiris, Diddy, because he is your boy toy. How do we come to that conclusion? Simple. As you notice, Stasia posted that 
she caught her baby daddy with a man stop asking her about him, which is a quote that she posted. But when people post quotes is usually to reflect something that has happened in their life. Her only baby daddy is YK Osiris. So that is the only person she could be referring to. Let's add insult to injury. This happened in 2022 with Diddy and YK Osiris going to Jamaica together. He also broke up with Stasia in 2022 after he came back from vacation with Diddy before the Breakfast Club interview. OK, so after the vacation with Diddy, when he came back, they broke up. Now, YK has alluded that the reason they broke up is because he was on vacation with another woman. But if that is why y'all broke up, then Adesasia post a cryptic message about you being with another man. That man, I believe, is Diddy. Stasia did not break up with him because he was with another woman. She broke up with him because he was with Diddy, because he was allegedly Diddy's boy toy, because he was allegedly having sex with Diddy. This is the reason she broke up with him. Most women can get over a man cheating on them with another woman, but when you cheat on them with another man, all systems cut off. To add more proof, there is a lie from last year that we spoke of earlier in this video where YK went live and had people very concerned about his health and well-being. He was discussing ending his life, just taking his car and crashing because he felt that it would make life easier for the other people around him. He states that he hasn't seen his children and he also states that he has no one. If YK was just on vacation with Diddy, why would he not name Diddy? Why would he not say, you know, I don't have anybody but people like Diddy and so on and so forth. He said he has no one. I believe YK feels played by Diddy just like many other artists. YK has been suffering in the music industry. He has not been able to come out with a new body of work. He has not been in the studio. He has not been on tour. So that means that he is not making any money. So that's why YK has been more so on social media with antics to get people to view him so that he could get paid monetary wise through like Instagram, TikTok, and a bunch of other things. A not seeing his children definitely lets us know that there's trouble in paradise, not only with time, but also money because he is not making any of it. We all know that Diddy is a music mogul and has helped many people with their careers. I believe he told YK that he would do the same thing with him, brought him to Jamaica with the knowledge of we're going to talk about business and it went to sexual is how I feel. So he feels played like you brought me down there. You used me. You used my body and you promised me certain things and they didn't come into fruition. I'm still here struggling. People think because I have a decent home and I have a decent car that I'm happy and I'm not. I can't pay these bills. They are piling up. I have all of this debt and you told me that you were going to help me and you using me made me lose a lot of things. I lost my kid's mom. I lost my child. I just don't have anything and you're definitely a part of it. It's like, why lie to me? But why K can't necessarily say these things out loud because being gay for pay still makes you gay in the eyes of the majority of America and the black community being gay is still frowned upon. Being a black gay rapper is definitely frowned upon. It's just not an easy thing. So let's listen to this live from last year with the new set of ears. Listen to everything that YK is saying. Again, if he was just on vacation with Diddy, why do you feel that you have nothing? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have nobody at all. Like, I don't got nobody. I don't know because of me, because I don't, I don't know. But I'm losing everything. Not everything. Friends, family, everything. Um, there's no excuse behind that either, you know, um, I blame myself, I blame me, um, like, me just, is that, like, certain part of my this saying, like, I just wanna crash, like just crash out. Like just literally like just crash out. But then I'm thinking like, 
is it worth it? Like, it's, it's, should I do that? Like, Cause why should I be here if nobody like, like it, it doesn't matter like why should I be here on this earth? Y'all from losing everything already. Like, why should I be here? It, 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 it doesn't even matter. Like I can't see my chair. Like I ain't see my other child in like seven eight months. What the should I be on this earth for? Yeah. Like, um, I, I'm not dropping music, you know. <clears throat> like, me just crashing out right now is gonna be like, I think it make a lot of people happy. I think that will make people happy. Like, you know how you like you see things like, oh, people gonna be like, I think if I crash out and it's like, wreck, I think and, you know, I think that'd be like, I think that'd make people more more satisfied and happy. You know, because at this point it's like, nobody gives a anyway. It's like who gives a those sides? Who cares about those sides? Who cares? Cares, my nigga. Nobody cares. So it's like, it's like, why the? F like, why the f go to serve for man? If I crash out right now, right? How will people feel? Alright. No side, man. I don't got nobody, my nigga. I don't got no friends. I don't got nobody. Man. I don't cry, man. I'm a G, man. I don't cry about shit. I lift my head up, but at this point, it's like, f this shit, my nigga. Like, man. I can't drop. I don't drop music, my nigga. I, I, can't, I got so much talent. People don't f me, man. Like, my energy too fucking powerful, my nigga. Like, like this point, why the, why the am I living for, my nigga? Like, if I crash out, I just want to like, just die. Like, crash out, shit. Like, it's like get off my fucking gift. Like, Osiris. It's so funny cause I don't cry man, I don't do that shit my nigga like I don't cry, I don't do shit like that Like it's, just, it's not me I, I don't, I don't, I don't do shit like that my nigga Like Can cry Can cry my nigga I don't cry Like I just wanna like everybody I think everybody be happy by this crash out, right? Crash out is like everybody be happy. I don't I don't got nobody. Look, nobody in the car me. I don't I don't have nobody. Like if a nigga wanted to do something to me right now, it'd be a best time to do it. Because I don't have nobody. I don't be around nobody. Nigga wanted to rob me or do anything, they can do it because I don't I don't be around nobody. I just don't like like I don't nobody. I don't I don't put myself I don't nobody. It's, it's that simple. Like I just don't.
Everybody hates Osiris. Everybody. Everybody hates Osiris. Everybody. Everybody hates Osiris. Everybody literally hates Osiris. Like. Everybody hates Osiris. Everybody hates Osiris. Literally. Everybody hates Osiris, my nigga. Like. Osiris this, Osiris that, Osiris this. Osiris that. I can't do nothing right. I can't do shit right. It's always Osiris this, Osiris that. Right? I swear, bro, like, everybody hates Osiris, my nigga. This is real facts, bro. Like, nigga, nobody to me, man. Everybody know I haven't I haven't made money. I haven't even been doing shows, but that doesn't like that, that doesn't make any sense. Like why are you speaking on my name for because nobody because it's just what it is. They just Osiris the clown class, whatever you want to call it. So why So why well, so why should I you know get my life? Like nigga like the hell you bring up my name for? Why the hell are you bring up my name for? I don't, that I do to you, nigga. I ain't even like. What the f? Like. Fuck you, bring my name up for? Talking about some bullshit, man. The hell? Like, nigga, is crazy, man. Like. All that shit, man. Like, nigga, like. I just wanna die. That's what I wanna do. I wanna Nah, that's what I want to do. I want to just crash out right now and just like, like this, this, this like, life. I swear to God. I had to take a ride. I had to take a ride, bro. Got my house. Because the demons are trying to attack me, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's been, it's bad. Like, I never cry, bro. I never fucking cry. I never fucking cry. I never, I never, I never, I never, I never, I never. I never cry. I swear to God. Right on the Bible. I'm so strong. I just never cry. I don't see my daddy. Shit, nigga, all type of shit. I don't see my kids. Nigga, I barely like. I'm not making money for music.
please help me, bro. I'm tired. Just please help me, bro. Please. Like, why the f*** is this happening to me, bro? I didn't, like... I can't do shit right. I can't do shit right, bro. I can't do a f thing right. Like... I can't do nothing right, bro. Like, it's always, like, oh... If I try to do something right, like, nigga, no, nigga, it's not enough. Shout out to YK Osiris. He is definitely doing a lot better. But again, he does have a lot of trials and tribulations that he has been facing. I wish him the best. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think that Diddy and YK Osiris were allegedly booed up? Do you think that YK Osiris was dumped by Stasia because she found out that on this vacation with Diddy that they were actually hooking up? What other reason would she post this again? She has not stated publicly a story in what may have happened between YK and this other man. But with all of this happening around the same time frame, all happening again in 2022, it's easy to say, safe to believe that all of this happened because of Diddy. I love you all. Until the next video, I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Bye.